In today's video, we're gonna talk about eight Cinema 4D asset packs that utilize the Expresso feature to deliver interesting packs and effects that I thought you might find useful, like for creating Earth shots from space, infographics, holograms, and much more. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. We're gonna start with the Earth Building Kit, a tool that allows you to add infographic elements to a realistic 3D Earth model which I think looks really cool. Through Cinema 4D's content browser, the kit presents a versatile set of elements that range from labels, pins, and charts, in addition to arcs that connect to or multiple places, which looks really sick. All of these elements are made with basic Cinema 4D objects like text, sweeps, and extrudes, and this makes it easily editable and can be affected by all the native effectors and deformers seamlessly. EarthBuilder also offers a comprehensive list of highly detailed geographic texture maps. With these, you can render the country borders, roads, and cities with high fidelity to real life, as well as realistic topographical maps. Also, you can introduce text and vector paths to high-res texture maps and have them rendered on the surface of the Earth. Furthermore, the elements are animated by leveraging the power of Cinema 4D's Expresso bypassing the use of keyframes and complicating the process really. Instead, it is much more simpler to adjust the animations with just a few sliders which allows you to control the animation speed, looping length, and the offset to introduce more variation into your globe, and this can be a really great time saver. Talking about saving time, we have the infographic pack, which also presents an array of dynamic infographic components directly from the asset browser. These, however, are generic, but not limited to geographical use. With 42 distinctive elements that include graphs, pie charts, box plots, market lists, and much more, this kit allows you to create news reports, stylish business representations, and educational videos to name a few of the possibilities. Simply drag and drop any element from your content browser and proceed to adjust every aspect to your liking. You can change the colors, the text, and even the positioning and size of the shapes, granting you a level of freedom which can be comparable to those vector-based 2D infographics. And if you want to create cool-looking 3D hot effects, we have a 3D hot pack, which is a first sort of kit that can allow you to elevate your scenes by introducing complex and intricate hot up display elements to them. So if you want your scene to have a sci-fi-ish look, no problem because you can do this with this pack that offers you a comprehensive collection of 39 simple and complex widgets, each with a distinctive look, and they are built with Cinema 4D's native objects as usual. These widgets feature expressive looped animations, which are parametric in nature and can be easily adjustable with a few controls. Now, the main setting point of HUD elements is the ability to combine, mix, and match different simplistic components to reach a complex and sci-fi look. And so, with the 3D hat pack, these 39 widgets grant you a vast assortment of combinations. So, a smart thing to do is layering them, which allows you to achieve an intricate and visually appealing scenes that include hot elements. From hot elements, we're gonna now move to holograms with the next tool, called Procedural Hologram Effect. The first asset isn't actually a pack, rather, it is an innovative tool that enables you to rapidly simulate stylized holographic looks directly in Cinema 4D. It should be noted that because the way this asset functions, it only works with the native standard and physical renderers, and it is not compatible with any third-party render engine. So, with procedural hologram effect, you can turn your 3D models into a stylized hologram replica, which is really cool. The effect works on any polygonal mesh, even animated objects which gives you more options. This isn't achieved with the use of any third-party plugin. Rather, it works through a particle-based approach that relies completely on Cinema 4D's native tools. The asset creates a control node with a child cloner object that creates a particle system. So simply drag your mesh into the control node and a particle duplicate will be generated by the cloner. Then, and through the use of Expresso, the asset offers you a set of controls that can adjust the movements, size, and layering of the particles to simulate the holographic effect. At the end, to capture the look of a hologram, the asset allows you to either colorize the particle layers or introduce the model's textures into the control null, which will map it on the particle array. 
as well as introducing a controllable tinting effect. This way, you can achieve a very stylized hologram look that can stay true to the model's original look. Still around the same topic of holograms, this time we're gonna go to the future with the Cyberpunk Hologram Pack, which provides you with a collection of holographic looking 3D models that will help you to achieve a neon-infused futuristic feel. So, whether you want to build a cyberpunk city, create hologram display rooms, or simply decorate your scenes in a futuristic fashion, this pack is probably for you. First of all, it offers you a set of 39 procedurally animated models, all in the form of holograms and neon banners. The kit also offers you the ability to adjust and fine-tune the elements of which the holograms are made, and you can do this however you want mainly because you have simplistic parameters that can edit help you the text and modify basic shapes, also you can change the colors, thickness and even their positioning in relation to the whole models. In addition, all the holographic models feature a seamlessly looping keyframe-free animation that is easily controllable with a set of three sliders. Next we have Easy Wires, and much like the name suggests, this asset can be a great solution for wires and cables related needs. First of all, I have to mention that this tool is designed to be simple and friendly, because it allows you to create all sorts of wires, cables and even tubes. And to get started, you simply have to draw a spline where you want your cables to be and then assign the spline to the asset. From there, easy wires will enable you to choose the type, shape and radius of the wire or wires that you want to use as you can have up to 6 wires following one spline. The tool also allows you to introduce cable ties, in addition to twist the facts and change the placement of the wires in relation to the original position of the spline, which can give another depth and realism to the wires, especially when having a lot of wires. Couple this with good texturing and lighting and you can create realistic looking wires that can improve your scenes and give it a notch in the right direction. Next up we have Space Backdrop, a free tool that will allow you to create stunning backdrops and environments from space scenes. And before we fully explore it, please note that this asset only works with Cinema 4D standard and physical render engines. It allows you to instantaneously acquire a fully customizable 3D space background in a short period of time. This is the case because you can simply select the Space Backdrop asset in the content browser and you're gonna be set. The asset works by layering different Cinema 4D layers of noise and effectors over the sky object, which is an interesting approach that results in a seamless, fully three-dimensional space environment with no borders, focus points, or distortions. This layering also results in a very straightforward level of control because every aspect is easily controllable with a dedicated parameter or slider making it very easy to attain that perfect space backdrop that matches the mood of your work and scene. Last but not least, we have Laser Scanner, an asset that allows you to create aesthetically pleasing volumetric lights that can simulate the effect of scanners. And for this asset, it should be noted that it only works with Octane and Cinema 4D's native render engines and it doesn't work with the other render engines. The Laser Scanner asset provides you with a set of volumetric lights in the form of scanning lasers. You can easily make these lights intersect and interact with their surroundings and other elements in the scene, which is really important and necessary. You can simply drop the object that you want the lasers to interact with in the Object Collision tab and watch the asset run its magic. The asset also grants you full control over every aspect of the lasers, from their shape, opacity, and the number of scanning lines to the nature and texture of the volumetric fog which enables you to quickly achieve interesting and varying results depending on the vision of your project. So this is it guys for today's video. If you are interested in these assets and packs, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.